Hi, in this tutorial we're going to model an Allen key in Autodesk Fusion 360. Let me know in the comments if there are any videos that you'd like to see in the future. So let's get started. We're going to come over here to where it says Origin and we're going to select the plane that we want to work on. So I'm going to select the XZ plane and I'm going to come over here to our view cube and I'm going to select top right here and with that selected I can create a sketch and what I want to do is come over here to line and I'm going to click on the origin and drag up and even though I'm working in inches here I can just type in how many millimeters I'd like this line to be so I want it to be 80 millimeters so I'm going to type in 80 millimeters and hit enter and it's automatically going to convert it to inches if you're working in metric, uh, it's going to come up uh, as 80 millimeters. So I'm going to come over here and click on line again and drag out another line now from that point. And I could set a dimension here for 30 millimeters. And that's our L shape. But we need to add a radius here. So I'm going to come here to fill it and I'm going to select this line and this line and I'm going to make this 6.5 millimeters and you can see that that's our uh, sweep path so I'm going to finish the sketch because uh, we're now finished with the sketch and what we want to do now is I'm, I'm going to click on the view cube on this edge and that's going to rotate our sketch and now I can select the uh, plane that I want to work on so the XY plane I want to click on the XY plane and I want to create a sketch and I want to come down to create and I'm going to come down to the uh, polygon here and with the polygon selected I can come over to uh, circumscribed polygon and I'm going to click on the center here and when I drag out you're going to see that the polygon is actually um, shown the the shape is shown so uh, that's good we're going to drag this out to be five millimeters so I'm going to type in uh, five five millimeters and and hit enter I'm going to drag it to about there and you can click on this line and come over here to horizontal slash vertical when you click on it it's going to make it vertical for you all right so um, that's our second shape so I'm going to hit finish sketch and I'm going to come over to the create tab and under create you can come down to sweep and under sweep we have our profile right here selected and we have our path and if I select both of them you're going to see that the Allen key shape um, is created as a solid and so from here if you're if you don't like the way it came out you, you think maybe it's it's too thick or unrealistic or the sketch isn't uh, the way you want it to be you can always make edits so you can come over to where it says sketches right here and you can right click on sketch 2 and you can edit it and you can double click on this and you can make it say 7 millimeters whoops type in 7 mm and that's going to make it a little bit larger and when you come back to the part you're going to see that it it's much thicker now but maybe that's unrealistic or it's not what you want so you can continue to make edits you can make this uh, four millimeters if you want you can also change the line itself so I can edit the sketch and I can add another leg if I'd like to another two legs and if I right click down here where it says sweep I can edit the feature and for the path I can select 
the, these two lines and it's automatically going to update accordingly. So that's the flexibility of the uh, sweep in creating an Allen key in Fusion 360.